So this is quite a surprise we're doing this video today. <laughs> Essentially I planned to get back into it when the Crystal Hunt will release, which wasn't that scheduled for the last year or something. <laughs> but this update is kinda special because as we all know, Blade and Sorcery is known for the modding community and just the additional stuff besides the main gameplay. This patch introduces few other stuff, but essentially you can just install mods directly from your headset, like the ones that are actually available for Nomad and not for the PC VR. There's not a lot so far because it's still kind of fresh. I did install a couple just to see how that works, but it's very easy, like you just search for it, install, and that's it, like nothing to do with the PC, just no bullshit, like that's why I was just hesitant to pay more of it. I need to kind of remember how it worked though, because it's a different engine, I presume, than like Bone Lab. The textures are the same on the Pro, we're playing on the first time. It's more clear, <laughs> but it's still rough. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening here. Did I break it? What the hell that does do? Oh. I can just leave like that. Oof. It's rough as ever. Apparently you can swim now. <laughs> I mean, if it's gonna be a full on simulator, then why not? But it's still very rough in terms of just graphics. Okay. <laughs> Drawing distance isn't crazy, but at the same time, you wouldn't see much underwater in real life. But yeah, <laughs> it works. Let's see some other stuff. Where are all the stuff that I installed? Oh, here we go. So, <laughs> I'm a Final Fantasy fan, if you don't know that. Oh my god. Uh, it's kinda too big, but yes. <laughs> and then maybe some... They're very cool weapons, though... What the... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I don't see from the Final Fantasy fourteen. Ah, oh, that was magic, okay. Well, let's see. Okay, but I want to spawn a weapon, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it fair? Oof. Don't remember <laughs> how magic worked. Oh, <laughs> I installed a voice pack. I can block, nice. The collision isn't crazy. Also, I wish I would... What the hell? I can't unequip a weapon. 
Ah, there we go. We have a lightning weapon. What the? <laughs> okay, well, maybe I'll just do that. <laughs> Oof, it's brutal. Okay. What the? Let go of me. My hand doesn't work. <laughs> Just for you. I need to restart the level. It's too crazy. <laughs> Why am I equipping two? <laughs> Actually, that's not that bad. <laughs> I mean the performance. Oh, is kind of rough. That's how it has been. Okay. <laughs> no, no, give me this. <laughs> Steal from me. Okay, well, <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> this girl is fine. Oh wow, <laughs> the AI is something. Right. <laughs> it's a very cool mechanic with this telekinesis. <laughs> Apparently, it's a new thing. That you could break things. How do they select some other stuff? Do I see your pants? Disgusting. So it seems like the mods work as chaotically as it can be. <laughs> as endless, I suppose. Was there else left? I can also block stuff, which is new to me. block with this? Okay, yeah. Okay, well, full mayhem mode.
Oh well. <laughs> Seems like the pro doesn't really help the fact that this game is still heavy on the performance side. I mean, I guess I just wish it would not be that ugly. <laughs> and that's it, like, the rest seems okay to me. It's not like a up level of physics. It seems like to be a standard now, I don't know, <laughs> in my eyes. Though it's still nice, like... I would definitely appreciate it way more on the PC VR. 100% but knowing the quest capabilities it's okay I mean I thought it's gonna be better on the pro but I mean if it's skipping here then I don't know what's happening on the quest <laughs> this update is mostly about the mods and they work you just need to kind of find the right ones for yourself I don't think they take away that much like processing power maybe because of the collision or something it's like an unusual for the base game but like it works it's easy to access and that's what i was looking forward to i'm very much curious what's gonna be with this crystal hunt thing because when you create characters there's a split between a sandbox and a crystal hunt but we'll have to see when that's gonna release because i don't think it's gonna be uh, very soon 